when you know your discount phone isn't factory new because you're buying it off a private seller. They'll tell you it's pretty much in perfect condition. Mm-hmm. The phone may not have a scratch on it, but then you turn it on and a defective pixel shows up out of nowhere. What a shame. This command would have shown you if there are any non-working pixels on the screen. All right, now you're in the market for a new phone and you're looking through the ads. That's when, booyah, there it is, the brand new phone of your dreams with an unbeatable discount. Oh, not so fast. Before handing over your hard-earned cash, make sure you dial this. It'll show all the essential information about the phone and whether it was refurbished or it's really factory new. Dialing this will instantly tell you all you need to know about your software version. Same goes for this. This quick access trick is useful when you've disabled automatic updates to save on battery life. Always check if you have the latest version, since updates can fix bugs and beef up security holes to keep the bad guys out. This combo here can also help you know more about your phone, like your current network, battery and usage statistics, and many others. It's handy if you can't understand what's going on with your battery and why your phone runs out of power so often. By the way, not all these commands are just a random number combination. Since it's a hidden word written in the almost forgotten ancient T9 language. For example, each digit in this combo stands for a letter in the phone's keyboard. 4 stands for I, 6 is N, 3 is for F, and 6 is also O. What do we get in the end? Info, right you are! How many more codes can you decipher throughout this video? More on security. Say your friend needs to borrow your phone, but you've got some apps you'd rather they didn't see or click on. You can pin certain applications so they only open after you enter your lock screen code. Go to Settings, the Security menu, and enable Screen Pinning. If you go to Security and Privacy Settings, you'll find the Smart Lock function. Thanks to GPS Tracker, it automatically disables the screen lock when you're at home or in other safe places of your choice. Fair warning, GPS will shorten your battery life. To prolong your battery, and especially internet traffic, try restricting apps that wake up in the background. Go to the Android Data Usage menu. Now that you see all your apps, you can check the details and scroll down to the Restriction button. Even worse than a bad connection is when your phone gets stolen. In that case, you have to access the IMEI number to block your phone remotely. This will bring it up instantly. Ah, who needs internet when there's a secret game on your Android right now? Head into the settings, then find your OS icon. Tap on it repeatedly, and it'll open a fun game. Mine's an octopus that I can make swim around the screen. <laughs> what did you find? Phones have pretty much replaced digital cameras, and they're just about as complicated as DSLRs. To learn everything about your phone's camera, just dial this. Okay, are you ready to take a picture? Then say cheese! If you're traveling and can't get a good connection, dial this to test the GSM signal. That's the global system for mobile communications, and this secret code will work even abroad since 90% of places have it, hence the whole global thing. This code will enable a quick access menu where you can start a range of different phone operations with a single push. It can be sleep mode, front camera, and many other functions. Anyone who's lost important data just because your device deleted it for some unknown reason knows the frustration. Never worry about accidents like that again if you just type in, get ready for it, yeah! It enables a file copy screen where you can back up your media files like pictures, videos, and audio. Now, what about accessing a service that could be, hmm, listening in on you? Secretly reading your private messages? Ah, relax, this isn't a Bond movie. 
Dialing this will open what's called Google Talk Monitoring. Yes, it does keep records of all your communication, but it usually is used by employers to monitor their workers. You know, to make sure business hours are being used for business, not discussing last week's epic party. It also shows your device ID, Gtalk connection status and history, and even your Gtalk heartbeat status. Hmm. Google does collect information on you from your Android device, but it's mostly so they can show you personalized ads you'd be into. Be that makeup, uh, video games, tech, home improvement, you name it. Versus your aunt and her love of garden gnomes. You can find all this information in your Google settings from your phone. Find the Ads menu and choose Opt out of ads personalization if you'd rather Google didn't know your interests. Or you can opt out of ad categories they might have gotten wrong about you. Now, to feel like a true phone engineer, dial this. Plus call. And it'll bring up the EPST menu. This lets you program your phone so you can, for instance, improve your call quality or try to save your battery life. Careful though, when you're reprogramming your phone, some settings can never go back to how they were before. Say you need to sell your old phone. It's time to wipe out the inside. Warning, don't try this right now. The secret code is this thing. It will return your phone back to the factory settings. You can also try this one, if the first one didn't work out. It'll delete all your apps and reset your settings. While you're on the trip, say your hotel's internet isn't working right. Could be their side, or something's wrong with your phone. Use this code or this command to test whether your phone is catching an available wireless connection. There's one more secret code to check a lousy line. This one. This command enables a loopback test that verifies whether the device signal is working right or not. Gone are the days of standing up on hills with our phones held up toward the sky. Phone backlighting won't turn on? Vibration mode driving you nuts? You could go and check your general settings, but here's the fast way. Dial this to check your phone's backlighting and vibration. Remember when we had to download apps to check stuff like that? Oh, how times have changed. If your GPS is messing up, here's the secret code to test it. This or this. Good to know if you ever get lost. You can also test your Bluetooth connection by dialing this. 